So this is a request I got from a client of mine asking if I can come up with a, an automation script to export multiple BigQuery query results into a single Excel spreadsheet locally. And before I dive into the tutorial, uh, there are just a couple things that you need to be aware of. So first, uh, in Excel, you can only have up to, I think it was about 1.3 million records or rows. And if your query output exceeds that uh, limit, then you might need to uh, reconsider using other platforms such as uh, a database system. If your Excel file gets too large, then you might see a performance issue when you try to run an analysis. And with that being said, let's dive into the tutorial. And to write this automation, I'll be using Python as well as uh, using BigQuery API. And to uh, manage Excel application, I'll be using a Python library called PyWin32. All right, so here in my uh, BigQuery console, let's say I want to explore two tables. The first table is going to be coming from my uh, SQL for BigQuery project, JJ data sets, then uh, this uh, demo product table. And the second table, uh, let's say I want to uh, export the uh, result set or the query result set from a third party uh, project. So I'm going to use BigQuery public data uh, project for uh, this demonstration. So there's a table that uh, I saw before. Let me take a look. All right, so let's use uh, a table that I know the best, which is going to be the uh, San Francisco open source uh, data set. And I'm going to export this uh, film locations tables uh, result. And this table has about 1,622 records. Now diving into the uh, Python script. All right, so first I need to import the libraries. For this automation script, I'm going to be using OS module, time module, and it's a win32 count that client uh, module. It's going to be coming from the pywin32 library. And just FYI, uh, this library is only available for uh, Windows users. But if you're using uh, Linux or Mac OS, then uh, you might need to use some other uh, Excel uh, libraries such as uh, Pandas or uh, Excel Writer. And here's the uh, BigQuery module. And let me increase the font size. So I'm going to start by uh, creating a function. So what this function does is, uh, you don't know how many records is going to get returned. And using this function, we can dynamically uh, insert the table onto Excel spreadsheet. Now let's look at the uh, code blocks that construct this function. So this code block is going to insert the uh, headers into an Excel worksheet. Basically, when we use this uh, insert data function, we need to provide uh, two arguments. The first argument is going to be the worksheet object, meaning that uh, which worksheet you want to insert the data to. And the second argument is going to be the this uh, data frame object argument. And since we're going to be working directly with a data frame object, to figure out the uh, columns dimension size, we can reference the columns attribute that shape. And the shape is going to return a tuple with the uh, columns and rows uh, dimension size. And by referencing the first element, uh, this is going to return the total columns count from, the, uh, from this uh, DF argument. And the second code block is going to insert the data body. All right, so uh, now let's go ahead and uh, construct our Excel application. So if we go back to the tab, I am renaming this uh, Win32 count client module as Win32, just to save some typing. So from this uh, Win32 uh, module, I'm referencing this uh, dispatch class followed by uh, the application name to construct the application instance. In this case, it's going to be Excel application. And once I construct the Excel application uh, instance, I can go ahead and uh, control the Excel application. So first I need to uh, set the Excel application's visibility to two because I want to uh, show the Excel file on my screen. And if you prefer to uh, have everything run in the background, then you can set the visibility to false. Then I'm creating a brand new Excel workbook. Now let's go ahead and construct our uh, BigQuery object. So here I'm creating my BigQuery client object. And for the uh, SQL queries, 
So here I'm creating an empty list to uh, store the queries that I want to execute. And here I have two queries that I want to uh, execute. So the first one is going to be uh, explore all the products from the demo product table. And the second query is going to be export all the records from BigQuery public data project, San Francisco data set, the film locations table. And I decided to insert a where clause to return all the film locations that are filmed where release year is greater or equals to 2000. And after we have all the queries that I want to uh, execute, we can now go ahead and uh, execute the queries. So here I'm inserting a loop. I'm saying that for each query in the uh, this uh, queries list, I want to execute each query individually. So here I'm running this uh, client query method and passing the SQL statement. And because when you uh, execute a an operation with BigQuery API, the operation is going to be assigned to a queue waiting to be uh, executed. So that's why here I'm naming uh, the output's query job. Then I'm rechecking the uh, job status until the job is complete. And once the job is complete, then I can reference in the query job object that result. And here I can uh, set a limit on how many rows I want to return. By setting max results to none, that means that I want to uh, return every single record from the uh, result set. And I'll name the output as response. And from the response object, so this response object basically contains the record itself. And I can export uh, the result set as a data frame object. And this line here is adding a new worksheet to the Excel workbook. Then I'm using this uh, insert data function providing the uh, worksheet object and the uh, data frame object to insert the data set to my Excel spreadsheets. All right, so this is going to be uh, everything that we need to uh, to write for the automation script. If you look at the script, there are only 45 lines, which is not too bad. Now, if I go ahead and uh, press F5 to run the script, And it's pasting the uh, query result set into uh, two different worksheets. So here's the uh, first query result. And here's the uh, second query result, which is going to be export all the records where the uh, release year is greater or equals to 2000. So this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And if you have any questions or any feedback, please post it in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.